mean Palea, ready to dip Daily the quest. buttocks into the grown-ups only saga of a deadly and sharp-witted sidearm? Oh, and his clueless detective psychic? Not all our awesomely performed bickering and rude observations are recorded for voice yet, so uh, hit that freaking wishlist button, you f pieces of shit. Police. There's uh, what? A prologue with a couple of scenes and that's about it. There will be tiny little bugs and a couple of blocks where assets are supposed to be. What can I say? Blame the devs. Dumb bastards are just working like 50 hours a day to give birth to this sweet ass baby. And remember, in this game, your choices actually shape the narrative. So if you're a smart c I'll give it another go. Heads up. Flashing lights ahead. The bit's gonna dazzle ya. Harsh language alert. So uh, put your earmuffs if you got a little uh, peeps on the foot. Sexual themes and innuendo. Real butt clenching stuff, yeah? Disclaimer. This is all a purist fiction. Any resemblance to real life is coincidental with a sprinkling of anecdotes and events from us and our supporters. Now, dive into the dystopia. Before I blast you, you know the swearing, I guess, yeah. The rule sets the tone. It sets the tone there, you know. All right. Can't say I'm a huge fan when you don't get any settings, then. It was just a typical forsaken night. Too much liquor, and my unconscious body sprawling across the desk. What a sight. Fortunately, there was no one to see it. No one who cared. Alive, at least. Once a superstar a detective, a huh? now Got some so love devils, uh... Relic rotting. In a world of cyber geezers. Losing work to OGs, hackers, and robocops. No jobs, no money, no friends. It could have been worse. I lied to myself. At least I didn't sell my soul to some cyber medic mumbo jumbo. But Lady Death was already at my doorstep. I could feel it in my gut. All I had to do is wait a little longer. Oh, we get the settings now. It seems like we we'll never get the settings, right? Well, I mean, not like it's that bad, but a bit lower might be actually okay, I feel. In one moment. Happens to the best of us. No settings at all, yeah. Adding settings is a pain confirmed, but you did it. That's good. That is already good. Yeah, just a little bit of volume. Thankfully, there's a volume mixer for that at least, I guess. So that's something. Gamers don't need any settings, yeah. Seems even a bit too low. Well, that's actually where settings would be nice because I could get sound a bit higher since it seems kind of low, but my music is already kind of good enough, I feel. But I guess a little bit. Alright. New personal task open door. Uh. My head. Ah, bottle of Rocky, damn son. I told you, told you, told you, slaves at the div there. I see how it is. Get that sugi. I'm gonna cure the head, brother. The nonsense specialty of the pit. One part sweet mushrooms, one part kick from a disgruntled mule, and 98 parts industrial alcohol. That's not Rocky, bro. Rocky, you need to make yourself. Get my thinking straight. Heart punch and the nose and also keep my engine. It would make life easier and fail more agreeably than most other things, then. And the thing in trade. That's how you cure yourself from hangover, after all. Pub was almost empty, and needed a refill from the scrape. If I can uh, scratch up some creds, that is. Um, 
I get more work here from this gray, yeah, right? Door is not even uh, locked. Terminal. New messages? None. New job inquiries? None. Pleasant surprises? None. Familiar. The thing of interest was the scandalous and tragic local news with the South Airlines. Several investigators impaled on the job. Always wondered who came up with these uh, bonds uh, mots. All the journalistic babble distilled. It said that three upper crust investigators had been impaled at the Trish Corner early this morning. Hey, Steven. Good morning. He missed the frog like. The frog like, man. A good time for a little sightseeing. Impaled cyber investigators, alright. New location unlocked at tr Trash Corner. Just enough to put a man off his breakfast, alright. And one of that shishki bomb places still open. Feels good, man. I slid open the drawer on the right side of my desk. Long use had worn the handle to welcome my fingers. Hey, Pentropy. Hello. Towards last looked like a rat's nest. It was actually a pile of overdue bills and eviction notices. Um, Compania them. I haven't had a case in a long time. Bills are a damn cliche. They'll burn up nicely. Fine. The papers around to see if they were hiding anything interesting. Something solid and heavy slammed against the inside of the drawer. Easy, fuckface. A familiar voice spoke inside my head. Familiar? Now that's just low. First, you leave the hottest spot you ever could have dreamed of for another broad, and now this? Alone. You're wrong. I roamed the wilds together, inseparable, bound in blood. Them. I shoved the papers aside to get a better look. It was my old service weapon, a TT-88 automatic, black as the underworld's basement. What do you expect? A tiny girl living in your desk drawer? Take the gun. You're a funny. All right. Did the gun accept the task? Got the blood down, get away relentless, pitiless, unstoppable. But the bond grew weak. Like you. You must restore it. And the gun ready for action. Me widen. A palm celebrated at the reunion with the lost phantom limb. Yes, I'm thirsty daddy, Bab son. Let's get you a drink then. How the words a girl longs to hear. Oh, fine. Open the door. All the interactions and stuff too, I see. Not that's what already, I guess, kinda got. Them photos. If I click. I had. Just a single photo of my Carmen. Some sweet jazz played on my trusty old radio. Isaac Mark, hello. How are we doing? The muscle, fat, and jerry rigged utility class Ogs burst through my office door. He was monstrous, almost grotesque. His breath, even more so. No visible weapons? How about that shit? As a wound as tight as a clock spraying, I countered him with my uh, trademark calm. Eh? Yeah. Always call man. 
Easy now, big fella. No worry, Mr. Cooper. I no won't hurt you. Yeah, son. Be Cooper, that is there. With the vault dweller suit there. Bruh, uh, the first six letters of cooperate. Not false. You hope that means you're going to pay your taxes. The slimy tax collector is talking gorilla and a bitter detective. It looked like I was gonna die in a hail of cliches. Six to USA, yeah. yeah the thought demands the upgrade. Eh? <laughs> Devil Vlad Circus descent into madness? Ah, uh, that sounds familiar. Not sure. Not not yet. Not yet planned at least. We'll see. I still do have a few more. I have a list posted on Twitter, it's in command actually. That's the things that I have installed. Some of which I already played today, but not all of them. There is still more. There is still more. There is still more to play. And uh, yeah, as I said, the Lords of the Fallen decided to release not in the very best time, to be honest. So we'll see. We'll see what exactly will go through. This wasn't the first time Buzz had tried to collect. He wasn't the brightest crayon in the box. I had dodged him numerous times, but he never brought muscle with him before. What happens if I don't pay? Then Dimwit takes you to the sludges and you work off your debt. In your case, it will take around five years, and who knows, you might even survive the full stretch. John comes back from the sludges and you know it. You don't like it either, but it's not my fault you don't have an honest job or that you're behind on your taxes. Got yourself into this, my friend, and now act like a man and face the consequences. Knowing Buzz, there'd be a giant gaping hole in his plan somewhere. I just needed to push the right buttons. Called his partner Dimbit several times, huh? Buddy, why do you let him call you that? Call me... what, Mr. Cooper? A dimwit. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? It's... it's my Nicky name, Mr. Cooper. Everyone call me Dimit. Hey, we're here for the money, not the chit-chat. No, I wanna know. Tell Dim... tell me, Mr. Cooper, no one make fun of Dimit. That's your real name. Dimitri. But all people call me Dimit, shorter to say. Uh, see, it Buzz and call you Dimit, is he? And instead of Dimit, he says Dimwit, and Dimwit means a stupid person. Hmm. She talking, say Dimit stupid? No one called Dimit stupid. No, no, that's what Buzz calls you. Nonsense, don't listen to him, Dimwit. I'm not paying you to... Did you hear that? He said it again. Uh, is that true, boss? You call Dimit stupid? I never call you stupid. I call you Dimwit. It's what everyone calls you. Johnny Boy is talking nonsense, trying to mess with your head. I knew I was on to something. But you just did. Call him a Dimwit instead of Dimit. You can't even stop yourself, can you? Can name and no dimwit and dimit and dimit getting real mad now. Your boss, you dimwit, you can't. And my work was done. Dimitri raised his arms overhead like an ape to smash Buzz to smithereens, but. <laughs> I felt his hesitation. Big guy was hit hard with mixed feelings. Enough for the little guy to slime his way out. A validating personality. I... I think I go see Nana now. Nana might worry. We don't want that to happen, do we, Dimitri? No, no, no. Uh, thanks, Mr. Cooper. Goodbye. 
With weed eviction. All right. If only that would be that easy. The side effect of drinking was that she always came back. Those long legs were a real treat, though. She was the reason I started smoking and drinking. I have a job for you, detective. The line that broke me. Forever. I have a job for you, detective. Have we this updating again? Let's see. Classic. I awoke in pain to a breathtaking view. Across from my desk sat the smoothest, longest, most scantily clad pair of legs I'd ever dreamed. Wearing, barely, a dress fashioned from a ridiculously luminous, scarlet as sin, out of this world material. Mind-numbingly beautiful, perched in my chair like she owned the place. I have a job for you, detective. Can she know the line? Kind of nice dress, that son. Instead of tiny scales that constantly afflicts the microscopic motions reflecting the light to make her as glamorous as possible. Seen anything like it? Probably alien and more expensive than the entire block I lived on. And could she know the line? Who are you? And where'd you pick up that line? The sake of conversation, you can call me D. It's in cup side. It's a lady death. Fight the game. Don't need to know who she is. I have celebrity. Still, I wonder what it stands for. It's in cup size. Why only one D? I see two there. Miss Double D's. You are playing with fire, detective. Oh, you are hot, son. Send you to hell if you don't shut up and listen. Can I please pretend? I made sure that your troubles with local tax collectors and their apish enforcers go away forever. I'm also taking Classic. the liberty to pay all of your outstanding bills. I knew exactly what that meant. A deal with the devil. It is. The landlord Bazinski is not an easy man to make a deal with, and especially when he gets out with it. Luckily his ego can be a bot with enough creds. That was a catch. Sure. Much obliged. So we do nice. The visual novel. More like point and click adventure so far. Any more questions or can we get to the point? A lot, actually. Tell me the deets, uh, Double D. A girl is missing. I want you to find her. An upper cruster in the pit? Yes, like many youngsters from the hive, she was on her pit adventure high. Her name is Lucy, A class, A plus citizen, seven years old. Bit adventure, I am seven years older. That's some interesting. You should go on adventures there. Some decibel units translates to roughly a 19 chronological, the adulthood year. Oh, I see, all right. That's right, it was her adulthood birthday. I'm on stand for her. 
I thought you uppers had a bigger budget for this kind of emergencies. Yes, the best security team from Bullsack was sent moments after she went off the grid and was at uh, 910. Find out what happened to them. Bullsack, best money can buy. So they say, find out what happened to them. But we tell her the bad news, huh? Turn the screen towards her. She took a moment. Yes, yeah, that's them. Check that out. They could still be useful. Her daughter, sister. Our ecology is no longer family based, but it is as precious. How does it work then? Keep your back, hello. How are we doing? Once they turn one decimal year, kids are congregated into preschool colleges. There they are supervised and guided by professionals reaching at their best potential. At the age of seven, the adulthood age, they have a month off before specialization and distribution. Distribution? To their professional careers, I'm usually off-world. A very cold world to live in. Yeah, much more efficient, both for kids and parents. Efficiency and everything, and about the parents' love. Eh? I mean, the hormone responses, it's all chemistry administered in pills, and trust me, they never feel alone. And bother with kids then. Eh? The way evolution works best, plus parents get their bonuses and royalty earnings from their kids. Mm -hmm. The multi-level scheme with lives, and I thought our college only looked like a pyramid. How did I find her? Here's a photo. Reconstructed moments before she went off the grid. Alright. Value personality underdeveloped, uh, outcome unfavorable. Slide picture onto the table. Table, new item of food, Lucy. And she didn't come alone. Came with the three friends. Um, came back at 021. Intoxicated and immediately put into intensive care. Weren't in the state for interrogation, but they should be by now. Send their oncology uh, NIN IPs to your datapad. I should call them from a pay NIN when you get the chance. Call Lucy's friends from a pay NIN. Alright, sure. A girl full of life stared back with big, deep green, rebellious eyes. Her pearly white smile gave up her naive. Reminded me of. Never mind. And I should make nice. Hope that will go well. Hope that will go well, bun. Sindine hair color matched and the oversized nodes, a iridescent electric blue rim on the pine green bolero. Behind her fragment reconstruction showed three young men messing around and laughing, probably her friends, from the metro train that took them to the end of the world. Um, a metro station. One more thing. Cross them like her wouldn't they show up in the pit? Did you buy any chance to buy on? That makes you think that. Just a hunch. What's it to you? Machines that keep the memories after someone has died. I'm simulation of a person. Motionless simulations of real people I should have known. The ones that end up in bit I use the six toys in popular brothels. My memories. What's it uh, like being a bion? In reality, it's just a collection of data simulated onto a body. You are not immortal. Not all Bions are construct personas. I'm a real living hiver. This is my envoy. Just a vehicle. Let's see. Fascinating. Never heard of that. Well, people save it during their whole lives just to secure their post-mortem biome. 
In other words, it's too expensive to use it as I do. Okay, I can start looking. Use my NIP and let me know when you find something. Transferred funds to your account should cover enough to aid you in your search. Alright, sure. 1000 credits, available 4003 credits. Location office desk. Good luck, detective. I hope you don't need it. She gracefully stood up, left my gun on the table, and left. Got your back, partner. I needed a drink, and fast. The gun. Then get up. Let me see. You see this love yet? Yeah? It's kind of weird in this kind of game. Well, I mean, it's kind of a little zoomed in maybe sometimes in some scenes, but not bad. Not bad. All right, let's go. Even gonna say goodbye. Didn't we kind of already? Oh, the photo. You were better, John. So, so much better than this wallowing PI bullshit you're trying to pull. Take this chance. Prove it yourself. I can help you. Yeah, don't forget to bring along the sad string quartet, too. Oh, fuck me sideways. Are you sure? Uh, hard to find these days. Um, tolerate this old because it's a threesome here, me. Let's see. I seem to be talking with the gun and with the photo. Sounds like a combo there. I was busted open, nothing to guard anyway. Hey yo, thank you for playing the demo. Oh, and that's Beautiful it. Beautiful bastard. Let's see. Now click that wish list button and give us some love on social media. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bam, motherfucker, bam! I'll tell you a little more, but I mean, it is what it is. Huh? It could be kind of interesting. Like, artistically, looks nice. Voice acting, like. The amount could be maybe a little better, but still better than the no voice acting, right? The end of prologue and injected two additional scenes from Act 1, total of three for your extended runtime. we have optimized for minimal bugs, expect some glitches, missing assets, and inconsistent debugging process. Alright. Uh see. Oh wait, I still kinda kinda sorta go with I guess. Well, the metro stations, great to get the booze, I guess, maybe. Ah, okay, this one, this one is locked. Did they get something at least? The corner, ah, oh, the corner works, I guess, all right. The pit's sprawl of streets, alleys, and boulevards went silent, became irrelevant, forgotten, along with the people inhabiting it. But this place. A beautiful paradox. Trish exploded from a quiet, unimportant alley to a beloved rendezvous with curb to curb fast food stands. There is every kind of cuisine imaginable, backed by the smells of overused frying charred grills and wisps of smoke carrying the aroma of spices from all corners of Terra High. Poetry. I could have eaten this entire place in an instant, awnings and all. Svieža hrana. Efrish food. Excuse me, ma'am? Just trying her best not to die of hunger, or worse. That said, 
she seemed completely unresponsive. Let's get her on there. Uh, carry on. Self with the granny. Now here's a real professional. Jim is one of the better cooks at Tresh. Specializes in savapi recipes. Something of a trademark she fast food in these parts. But he'll make you anything you want. If he feels like it. Chivapi sounds good, huh? I need a Chivapi. That's voice actors there, come on. He's especially fond of savapi fried rice for some reason. He has an entire book dedicated to that one dish. And he treats it like the gospel. Hey, Jim. What's cooking? Come on, favorite of them. Hi, Koopa. Fuck you, Koopa. Bye, Koopa. That's not very excuse either. Jim and I are not on the best of terms. Mostly because he can't keep Jim Jr. in his pants, and I don't have the luxury of being picky about my gigs. I busted his cheating ass on behalf of his wife. So, it's understandable, he's a bit salty. I love you too, Chef. But I think you may have witnessed something really important. I might witness you sucking my hairy balls, you fuck. A boss and he's cheating ass, alright. And that but a tough guy act easily breakable. He knows he dug his own grave there. What your squeaky ass needs to understand is that every secret comes out eventually. No exceptions. That dame of yours was on your trail a long time ago. Hiring a broke ass PI to confirm what she already knew? was simply the final act in your torrid morality play. That was my cash she used to pay you. You know that, you greasy piece of shit. Truth be told, I did go straight for that easy cash and never bothered to check his side of the story. Nevertheless, he knew I was right. Bastard just didn't want to go down without a fight. Be my errand boy. Take this shit to this address, deliver it hot, and make the customer happy. Wait, what? Are you. What the actual f. You heard me. Deliver these sabapi to these flat fuckers listed here, and then we talk. Until then, fuck you. Deal or no deal. Sure. For a career change, yeah. You know what? I'm down. Just because I have a feeling you've wanted this for a long time. It was a pretty clever prank, but you didn't hear me say that. Yeah, yeah. Shut up and get to work, pit munchy. Meat's getting cold. <laughs> Koopa the pit munchies delivery kid. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Later, Jim. But remember, I might just eat this on the go. Bug fresh chivapchi chi. Alright. Sounds good. Flats corridor 88 and 90. New location flats where I probably can't even go, I assume. How do we even uh, go? A mop? Yeah, mop I guess is not active right now. Get in front of him, yeah. Get the way to work. Let's. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Let's not go to work there. What else is there? My ginger is there. First approach. Here's what due process in the pit looked like in those days. 
A few laughable strips of yellow tape and a couple of shit-for-brain thugs pretending to be guards. Full stop. Hey! Not a step closer, little man. This is a crime scene. Yeah! And this is our jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. That, yes. Fine work, colleague. Fine indeed. I'm a private investigator. You guys mind answering some questions? What? <laughs> look at this little man acting all swaggy. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Fuck off, little man. They even had authentic shiny badges. It was the end of days. Chopper and chlop. <laughs> it was the end of days. Credential. Yeah, I mean, that's shy. Probably not gonna work here, though. I'm here to take a look at the crime scene. <laughs> nice try, Scav. Get lost before you join these pigs. Yeah, fuck off, little man. I'm not a scavenger. I'm a private investigator. We can help each other out. You heard us. Fuck off. Okay, let me check with the boss first. Hey, boss. Chaba from Trash here. I have... Uh, Miss Zina, that you? He was as nervous as a teenager on his first date. I'm sorry, Miss Zina. I was expecting Diesel or... Uh... Hi, Miss Zina! Shut the fuck... No, everything is fine. It's just some random PI asshole sniffing around. Yes, Zina. Da. Yes, Zina. Thank you, Zina. That's not going to happen. Buzz off! Who's Zena now? Only the queen of the fucking underworld! Fine. I'll be back. Zena Chianki. I'll see. Get the permission. Right, so we can try to get the permission there too. We can rather really do a dead watch around during the demo, but it is what it is. Yeah, this one, oh, the, that's the phone. Can you actually use it? Number get intel bailout. Everyone's hands. Um, it's a gold day like a hornet's nest. He's the friends there. Oh, looks his friends. Eh? Hey, Georgi. It's a tongue twister. Zoltan and Vic. Sure. Trying to reach out available. Unexpected. Uh, so you can call any of them, probably. And they're her. Detective. This one, I guess, works. From Lucy's three happy friends. Um, are the kids wake up yet? Count on it, they're still comatose. Uh, parents are usually quite protective. Eh? Oh, debrief time. Tell you how what I found so far stopped me like I didn't care in the slightest. Good, now is there anything I can do for you? Can we both get back to work? Turn for daily allowance. The good allowance. The wall that might affect the case could use some additional funding. For what reason? Second thought. Fair mind, I'll make do with what I have. Let's do detective. I think I could probably like to, to bribe the guys there, maybe. Can ask for more. The metro working there. The metro also works. The metro station. As good a place as any to start the investigation. The locals refurbished it into some kind of tourist trap. A welcoming destination for uppers. With a bunch of shops and a bona fide info kiosk. Mm, they look that attractive though. The most depressing tales of the bit. Back in the day, this was actually one of the liveliest stops in the line. Workers from the flats swarmed here, traveling to a brighter tomorrow. Then it all came to an abrupt halt. People became homeless overnight. 
Ambitions were eradicated in favor of survival. The station itself Familiar. became a warren for lost causes. Ambitions eradicated in favor of survival. That sounds nice. Sounds like a moto. Well, at least it's not a drug den anymore. I'm not sure about that one. Guy there. A travel agency enticing tourists with its moldy walls and soggy brochures. It sure seemed like a promising place to look for clues. Zabawa. Najbolsze tury pod wodzicie. Jed wierno wip. Se. Najbolsze. The welcoming committee, though. Um, uh, Camel guide. <laughs> All right. Uh, and the two do there. Well, I mean, there is a little cam. Come there some more. She looks tasty. Sharing is caring. Uh, what? The girl's piece of meat takes a bite. Oh man, the look on this fucker's face. What the fuck, Yebeno? Give that back. I got it from a client as a gift. It's high quality meat, you fuck. Ugh. Mm. You need better clients. This tastes like dog meat. It's called Lenitsa, bro, and a fucking good one. Not a printed shit with hormones. The sock is missing. A sock is missing his game there. <laughs> and sacred too. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. I still can't even see the tiniest bit of natural fat there. Well, because Kalinsa isn't supposed to. The fuck do you even want, bro? Upper girl's gone missing. Here's the pick. You seen her or not? Ah, uh, sir and her fuck boys, freelancer grab them. Freelancer? Yeah, those assholes that take the uppers to Inferno or whatever club they have a deal with them. Fuck them fancy bastards and they dress all nice and steal the uppers from us working people. Cause a cranky greased up pity is a better option. Fuck you too bro, give me back my Arushak, I'm hungry. Adapt a bit a lunch in the local diction. Those leftovers back to guide them. Um. <laughs> Look at Jedi yipping like a dumb little dog. You shut up, little cuck. Thanks for the snack. The dialogues, yeah. And get some standards, <laughs> will you? Go fuck yourself, you privileged fuck. That's the Slavic game <laughs> well, indeed. Eh? That's a first. Classy act, John. Real classy. Perfume salesman. Bootleg perfumes, synthetic tobacco, and any combination of the two. A rabbit hole of suspicious wares was calling to me. Ah, hello, hello. Welcome to my cart of wonders. Quality is always recognized. Ah, my friend. Let me first interest you in my quality wares. You smoke, yes? I have some nice pre-rolled homemade tobaccas, soul grown on the cloud islands. Special shipment, yes. I give it to you for a special price of 20 creds per box. My name is Guzan, but everyone calls me Guza. I'm here to brighten up your day. You smoke, yes? I, uh... Secret in my mouth there, huh? I have a very special shipment of tobaccas just for you. Soul-grown, pre-rolled, homemade Heard straight that. from Cloud Islands. Special price, today only, 20 creds for a box. Else you yeah. have. You got anything else for me? Nah, you don't know what you're missing, my friend. 
Need something else? Perfumes? Some clothes? Fancy old analog watches, maybe? No, at least not right now. Let's uh, focus on something else. Ah, but that's not how this thing works, brother. Come on, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'll scratch this moron's back real good. We all play our roles, John. Just indulge the man. Avoid the tabacus. Sure. Take the tabacus. The creds final offer. Fine. Deal. Box of tabacus. A minus 20 grade then. Photo Lucy. This is the missing upper girl I'm looking for. Name's Lucy. Take a good look. Guza was a real method actor, but when he saw the photo, the shrewd traitor facade slid off his face like a buttered pancake. Oh yeah, she was kind, friendly, curious, I tried many perfumes, and I wanted to sell her best ones, make her happy, you know. There's genuine warmth in his eyes, which is still somehow creepy. Stuck with some old bootleg crab, lost bottle I forgot I even had them. Did she say anything about the movement plans? Anything? Said that she really likes it here and that she wants to learn everything about this place. Can you imagine that? Gonna have to try. The last bottle of an old scent perfume. Bottle of rock here. Need a bottle of the good stuff. Don't have any of that, brother. I'm not only sell great stuff. Best stuff. That also works. 15 credits for rare, a bottle of a shaitan's fujuk. Rare my ass, 10 credits. Um, deal. Alright, someone else has an umbrella salesman too. I thought there was no easy way to describe the wretchedness of life in the pit. But these two creatures, they epitomized it. Hello, my friend, uh, brat moi. Ha, come, come, buy umbrella, come on. It's dripping outside, like her prices. Uh, real cheap, like you won't believe. Yeah. A defeated man, sad and bitter. He couldn't sell an umbrella in a dome city with non-stop condensation issues. <laughs> Imagine if we were showered with real rain for a change. Just another relic of a bygone era, I guess. Ha! You said the, the thing from the... From, from, from the thing. Never mind, you wouldn't get it. Real rain. Wouldn't that be something? Funny accent. Uh, like from old movies. You actor? Hey there, pretty man. Very handsome. Wanna come in? Have good times with your Savita. Savitsa, <laughs> come on, yeah, I'm I'm standing right here. I guess that the cock comment wasn't wasn't, you know, baseless. The wife was obviously a retro freak. Like me. Everything else about her was disturbing. Oh Maz, you know I have no choice. You haven't sold an umbrella for a week. It's not that I enjoy having to charm this handsome man. Wink wink. Did, the wink, did wink. you just say wink wink? Beautiful Cole Idriston. I'm not here to buy shitty umbrellas or rekindle your love for each other. I'm on an investigation. My stuff is not shitty. Don't say that to Maza! You make him sad, you bastard! Asshole! Party Popper! Pooper of parties! It's good to see you focused, John. These two are just another dead end anyway. Leave us alone, bastard! We're on a clock, Koopa. Show these fuckers who's boss. Now! I'll get to the point. Look, 
I'm sorry for calling your umbrella shitty, okay? But there's a lost upper girl I need to find. And in this neighborhood, she might Did already be dead. Or worse. Ah, oh, poor kid there. In a ruthless place, maybe you're not such an asshole after all. Eh? Be determined, I guess. Lucy's photo. This is the upper girl I'm looking for. Seen her? Aw, poor girl. Looks so happy to be here. If she knew it would be her end. Okay, let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Didn't see her, friend. Uh, only if the shop wasn't closed when tourists come. Bet she would love to buy my newest umbrella. So fuck your umbrella, this girl might be dead then. This cock is just begging for an umbrella of his arse. It deserves this life. The Robocop Debo, not yet, not yet. Come down, don't know what happened to her yet. Two hopeless, pathetic souls. Whatever they knew, I could have figured out on my own. Molly trade saw girls. Creep in the corner of Metro Station. The bullets bit. I could have sworn I'd heard a strange mumbling noise from a dark corner nearby. Like someone cheerfully singing while being choked. Molly Tretz sees a lot of girls. She pretty. Where are you, buddy? Come on out. Let's talk. Patched up tuxedo, funny cap, teeth growing all around its cheeks, and dark, gaping holes where the eyes should have been. It tried its best to appear friendly, but I stepped back in disgust. It's fucking sideways, huh? It's a salutation he got there. I'll be honest. Hmm. I didn't expect this. I don't be scared. Molly Threat is a really good friend to have. It was hideous, unbearable, tragic, and twisted. But I hadn't heard that kind of old fashioned honesty in ages. I decided to trust him. Right to the left, yeah, that actually kind of does be. They do be, do be covered in some of the dialogue. Well, I mean, we're kind of pretty much done, though. With this one. That is actually true, though. Said he sees girls, yet has no eyes. How exactly did you see girls? There, uh, don't seem to be any eyes in your head. Oi, boss. The vessel has no sight, but Molly Tread does. Let him take a look, will ya? I believed him. After all, I wasn't sure if those were eye sockets or tiny windows into the friggin' void. And the void likes to look back. That I knew too well. Ah, sweet Nixie. Hard to forget her kind eyes. Molly Tread says he saw her. He sniffed them, yeah. He did. I mean, he did. He did. I came here by train with some friends. I passed by this corner. It smelled really, really nice. And all of a sudden. Sadness. Wouldn't look at Molly Tret's vessel, though. He went with that little trickster, good fellow. Can't describe his good fellow for me. It's a different dialogue there, I guess. Lucy's guide. We usually remember the looks rather than names. Describe a good fellow for me. A handsome young lad, a real charmer. Not much meat on him, though. Not very tall either. Sports a fedora and good taste in hats will give him that. That sounds like a fan of yours. Eh? That works, thank you. Lady time, boss. Are they aware? Any idea where this good fellow guy took Lucy and her pals? M Molly Tret is thinking. A group of dots. A lot of groups of dots. <laughs> oh, good fellow had um, 
A VP pass for an Inferno. That's the one. Yes, other guys don't have that. Deal with the club. Interesting. Inferno Mega Club where Lucy most likely went. Something about the crew. Did you take a look at the friends Lucy came with? We, um, not really, boss. Uh, Molly Thread is not uh, into boys, you know, N not crooked like that. Crooked? Wow. You're not a very inclusive guide, are you? No, no, Molly Thread didn't beat it like that. He meant not crooked like not uh, leaning on that side, huh? We were fine, young lads. We guess just uh, plain, not very sharp, you know. Average hormonal kids, got it. About him. Could be a story behind that ugly mug. Apparently looks human. Need to know more. Um, That's an unusual name you have. Molly Set. Aye, he is. He means little flower. Molly Thread got it from his mum. Because he was the smallest babe of the bunch. Funny how he got such a large vessel, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. Sure is. You don't look like, uh, most of the locals around here. That's cause Molly Thread is not a local boss. He hails from the most wonderful underworld. A land of serenity, where folk love and care for each other. That's the fairy tale version, at least. While trying to ignore the wailing, screams, and gunshots from outside, I would often fall asleep imagining that place. The version I'm familiar with describes a kind of undisturbed luminescent ecosystem. A civilization beneath civilization. Don't know much beyond that. Except that it may be best to leave that place alone. Right you are, boss. Molly Thread is impressed. He says he would gladly take you there someday. <laughs> Men like me should never get anywhere near a place like that. Not in a million years. Ah, Molly Threat will be the judge of that. It... He... said it with real pride in his voice. Alright. Oi, boss! We know it sounds a bit iffy, but, uh... Expected decently from a mutated man shell fungus. Uh, the pit, anything goes. Molly Tweet requested that we ask you if you could um, give us the girl's photo. Whoop whoop! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Fucking weirdo. I knew it. He's pure, John. Pure than we could ever be. Save that photo and give it to him later. We can need it for, you know, an investigation, though. Have to find her first. This photo is crucial for my investigation. Let's find Lucy first, and then I'll think about it. Deal? Oi, boss. Molly Tret says he's sorry. Uh, told him it was a stupid idea, but he made us ask. Yeah, don't worry about it. He was cheerful again. Gnarly bastard was actually growing on me, and the feeling was clearly mutual. Oi, boss, don't forget about Molly Thread. He likes you. You and pretty little girls. Remember that, Coops. Uh, tomorrow or Saturday? Probably tomorrow, because yeah, it might be a little different timing for me. Let's put it that way. So probably I will tomorrow. We'll see, though. The thing is, like, the pre-release uh, version is kind of like, you know, probably without the day one patch and stuff. Since you use, like, the different branch for it usually, so we'll see. But I uh, probably will. I probably will. Probably will do it tomorrow. For, uh, like, half of the stream or something, probably. Start with some demos. And then we go. Can I like, ask something deep from these guys, for example? No, this one is not talkative anymore. 
be you know something. Hey, brother! I want more wares. Goodfella might be a customer. Ever heard of a guy called Goodfella? Let me think. It rings a bell. But a guy on a business trip with that funny name. Goodfella, right? Oh, maybe it was nice fellow. Good, a uh, goof yellow, anyway. Fade out, fade in. Centuries passed as Goose has spun a made up stories about him knowing everyone and everything about anything. Great, thanks for wasting my time, brother. Hey, the Goose. You know something about him, maybe? Well, can restart it again. Unlucky. Yeah, these are clearly still. Still in the works. Still in the works. That's probably already all of them, right? Couldn't go to this. Uh, couldn't go to flats. For an entrance. Couldn't go there either. But yeah, that's pretty much in back to office. And she's done. Oh, I mean, that's actually nice. It's a pretty nice game. Quite an interesting uh, writing there. A bit acting too, I guess. But you know. Seems nice. Seems nice. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, right.